happy Memorial Day. And I'm so happy that after 20 long years, my GX2 dream came true. And the ultimate organ of my dreams, right here. So I thought I'd, I thought I'd do a little bit of a demo and kind of illustrate some of the differences and similarities between the GS2 and the GX2. As we can see, the, the GX2 wouldn't really need a Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, yes. GX2 lights up like a Christmas tree. So, over here you have, you have four different switches here for lights. One of them, is, the blue one, is for like the advanced features are over here and they lit up. Uh, the green one is, there's, right on the back of this um, little wooden block, there's a row of little bulbs lights up your music stand. So you're going to need a lamp and then, and then the yellow one here is pedal. I don't know if that means a little red light down there or what. But anyway, and then every button, every tab, everything just lights up like Christmas tree. Really, really nice. Okay, so a lot of similarities with the GS2. Like for example, here's your keypad your volume and the tempo up and down variation one and two information center the only real difference here is there's a three one one uh, with the GS2 there isn't a one in the middle that's the downbeat light the downbeat light here you'll find is right here also different with the GS2 versus the GX2 the GS2 has an extra section of buttons here, which is like your your bass and your lower and your presets, and then the information center. And over here is your your upper tabs and your effects. And now on the one side, your genius voices in the middle, and then your orchestral and solo in one section. Here you have orchestral here solo here, here's your solo genius voice, here's your uh, orchestral genius voice. They assign the same way. There are 35, the first 10 are over here and the rest of them are listed here. You just type in the number you want and then press the genius button that you want to put it into. So it's the same thing. There's 35 of these. There's quite a bit. Well, I like the GX2 has a few more string choices. I like that. Instead of an audio mixer is with the, which you can always, when you press one of the buttons, here you'll see what the value is and you'll see it increase or decrease. Here you got the red, you got the red bars to show you and where, where each one is when you press the buttons. Same, same parameters, just a little different display. The, one of the biggest differences between the GS2 and the GX2, the GS2 everything, tabs everything, you access through the buttons. The GX2 has the buttons and a row of traditional tabs. Note the pretty gold colored area. That's really pretty. I mean, that's, that's, that's class. So, Starting from the left, this is the rhythm section called Rhythm Plus or or Orchestration. Uh, there's 36 rhythms, so track select, like each one of these buttons has two different categories, so you press the track select to get whichever ones that you want. Auto start stop. Here's your bass, the orange tabs, swing bass, and then 16 and guitar and then the green are your genie voices and then your string and organ tabs for your lower this button is for your if you want to use automatic bass here is all your, your organ tabs instead of just the 16, 8, 4, and 2 there's a couple extras and then your strings your viola and your cello these three red ones here they're your presets and then this is a load preset button 
there's four different uh, four different harmony choices here and then these are your effects like for your organ voice or your organ tabs so okay so unlike the the with GS2 starts out with piano when you first start and GX2 always starts with organ so I always warm up I just and then here's the top wow pretty amazing huh and then there's just wonderful combinations of Voices, piano. Um, piano, banjo. Uh, the only, the only, oops, disadvantage is, I think it's just because I forgot how long the pedals were and they were kind of catching in the, they were kind of catching in the doorways and stuff. So pedals are a little screwy, but they kind of have a mind of their own. But um, there's a banjo. Are. These are oftentimes added when you're using a rhythm. So now, when you're doing a rhythm, the bottom keyboard splits. So what you can do is you can have something set up top, and then you can set up like a genius voice down on the bottom. Well, your your solo genius voice actually couples to the bottom keyboard when you're playing a rhythm. So you can actually play something down here, and then you can go down here. You can switch type and flip between the keyboard. That's really cool. And you can change where the keyboard splits. So, Alright, so you can, and of course, as with as with the GS2, you can transpose. Just hit 103, enter. Just touch the key that you want. That crazy bass, but and then now we're now we're playing a Z. We're hitting it. Okay. Okay, so let's look at the sounds. Well, let's look at the harmonies. Like, um, this is just ordinary. And then some of these actually pick sounds for you. Like, for example, it for duet, here's what you get. So your, your sounds are kind of picked for you. This one's band. This is great if you're doing like a swing. Okay, and then this is block. Okay, so some of those are chosen for you, and I don't know anyway. But this one, this one, just the regular. You can have any sound you want. Okay. So sounds, piano. Not bad. Okay, electric piano. Bells. This is a percussive tune and two thirds, if you have these on. Okay, let's see. This is Hawaiian guitar. Oops. I didn't 
practice for this. Huh. This is a regular guitar. Synthesizer. And down here is, uh, okay, these are like, these are kind of color coded too. Like green is like piano, keyboard, blue is like your guitar, and kind of some sort of stuff, I guess. And red is like your like horns and reeds and that. Uh, white is in the same way with like on the tabs. What yellow strings, white is like flutes, woodwinds. So, so then we have a trumpet. And we have a horn. solo side we have another synthesizer. Coming from that old movie back in the day. Uh, this is a clarinet. Here's that whistle like in the, in the movies from 20 years ago. That's what you have on the GS2 is more or less like a two foot. But not near as intense as this. Okay, jazz flute. And jazz guitar. does. It may actually put your sound down on the bottom. I'm thinking that's what it does. Okay, and then here's a here's another trumpet. It's a little more mellow. Here's a trombone. And then here's your genius voice. Cartridge, you know, your cartridge goes in here. All the, like, whatever number you want between 11 and 16, it all does the same. So I'll do a separate, uh, I'll do a separate demo of the variety four cartridge. It's pretty good. All right, so the difference with the rhythm section here, okay? You just you touch whichever one you want. Make sure you have the right track selected. Whichever the top, the ones up top, swing, rock, shuffle, disco, march, 
country, leave the track select alone. And then on the bottom, press track select, light comes on, one, black one, two, three, contemporary, traditional, and waltz. So we'll start out with country. And then you just press the one you want. If you want a certain, if you want a different variation, like say if you want, say if you want bluegrass, you push country, variation two, say you want a, say you want a, a certain speed, you can press the speed you want and then press one of the tempo up and down. Okay, and then... Again, to stop it. Or if you want, press the rhythm you want, the variation you want, hit command and get an intro. And then again, and then again down here, you can touch down here and get all this wild feeling. a rhythm, pick a rhythm. Some of these will actually be set up for you. But you can change them anytime. To whatever you like. Okay, so some of the some of the missing rhythms from the GS2. The GX2 has a Latin three. challenge to think of songs to go with some of these. Okay, and then we got variation two.
find the songs, think of songs to go with these. find a little more difficult is like when you're going through a song and I don't know, you like to change sounds like I do it's kind of a little more difficult especially when you're changing between orchestra or solo and tabs it's a little more difficult but you know you can put in little frills or little breaks or uh, fill-ins or whatever to kind of kind of make it go a little more smoothly and um, I read that the, um, like when you do the automatic bass and add it to your left hand, that it always has memory, unless you can have the memory turned off, but from what I read, it sounds like only, only if you have, and there's an advanced feature for that, where you can take a genius voice and put it on the whole lower keyboard. That's the only way, I guess, that you can do the turn the memory off so that you can do like like that. I have to play with that a little more. So there's a few things that are and in my situation, my bass is kind of screwy, but but the cartridges work all the same and everything else. There's just some more. There's a bunch more sounds. There's some more rhythms. Obviously, much bigger organ, much bigger, more powerful, mightier sound too. So that's pretty much in a nutshell. That's that's the GX2, my dream come true.